Hi children, welcome to Sparklers and Rockets. You're just in time. I've just found Lucy and Foxy and they're trying to work something out. It sounds really tricky. Let's see if we can help them. Hi Foxy, hi Lucy. What's the problem? Lucy, your friend has been really mean to you and you're trying to work out what to do about it. You were listening to the service on Sunday and you heard Tom talk about justice. You know justice is what you need, but you don't know what justice means or how to get it. You just know it has something to do with a hammer. Oh, well, I wonder what justice is. What do you think? Foxy, you think that justice means getting your own back. So if somebody whispers about you, you whisper about them. And if somebody hits you, you hit them. You think that's what the hammer is for. Oh no, Foxy, that's not what the hammer is for. That's not what we should do if somebody is mean to us. Well, what about you, Lucy? What do you think justice is? You think justice is what it sounds like. That when something is bad, that's just how it is. And we can't do anything about it. Well, what do you think the hammer is for? You think the hammer is so that when we're really angry, we can hit some nails into the walls and we might feel a bit better. No, I don't think that that's what the hammer is for either, Lucy. I don't think that's the best thing to do when we're really angry. And I don't think that when somebody has been really mean to us, we have to just say, never mind, and pretend it doesn't matter. Let's look at the psalm Tom was talking about on Sunday and see if we can understand what justice means and what Lucy should do about the friend who's been mean to her. Here we are. We're all ready to open the Bible and read our psalm together, aren't we? We've been reading psalms for a few weeks now. First, we read Psalm 3 and we heard that Jesus is the shield who saves us from our sin. Then we read Psalm 16 and we saw that Jesus won a prize that we can't win for ourselves and he shares it with us and that prize is to be right with God and then to live with God and enjoy him forever. Then we read Psalm 88 and we saw that Jesus chose to have tears to help us with our tears and to save us from more tears. Last week, we read Psalm 126 and we saw that God has helped us when he sent Jesus to free us and he will help us again and bring us home to Jesus. This week, we're going to read Psalm 109 and we're going to see that God will bring justice and that he saves us from his justice through Jesus. Psalm 109 was written by King David and he was in trouble when he wrote it. Listen to how he started it. He said, God, I praise you. Do not be silent. Wicked people and liars have spoken against me. They have told lies about me. David had enemies. He had been their friend, but they turned against him for no reason. He was so sad about it, he felt like they were tearing his heart inside him. David was their king. He had gone to battle to help them. He had helped them when they were poor, when they were hungry, and now they were trying to hurt him. They were telling lies about him and they wouldn't help him when he needed it. Do you know what any of that feels like? Has anyone ever told lies about you? Has anyone not helped you when you needed it? Has anyone wanted to get you into trouble? It's not good, is it? It's bad. 
And what do you do when people do bad things to you? Do you do what Foxy said and try and get your own back on them? Or do you do what Lucy said and try to pretend it doesn't really matter? Listen to what David did. He prayed and he said, Lord my God, help me. Because you are loving, save me. David prayed to God and he told him how bad it was and how much his heart was hurting. And he asked God to punish the people for the terrible things they were doing to him. But he didn't try to punish them himself. Instead, he asked God to be the judge, to listen to both sides and decide which one was right and which one was wrong. That's what a judge does. They listen to both sides and they decide which one has done right and which one has done wrong. When they make their decision, they bang their judge's hammer, and then that's it. There are no more arguments. The person who hasn't done wrong is free to go, and the person who has done wrong is given a punishment. When a judge does that, that's called justice. King David had enemies, and he asked God to give him justice, to punish his enemies. King Jesus also had enemies. They were people that he had loved and cared for and they turned against him. They told lies about him and hurt him. It was like they tore his heart inside him. If you are with us on Sunday, we saw how we tear God's heart whenever we do wrong, whenever we decide that we don't want Jesus to be our king, whenever we disobey God. And we deserve to be punished. But God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to help us. And when Jesus died on the cross, he took the punishment that we deserve. And he made it as if we had never torn God's heart. As if we had never done wrong. Psalm 109 ends like this. I will thank the Lord very much. I will praise him in front of many people. He defends the helpless. He saved me from those who accuse me. God defends Jesus. And if we stop being God's enemies and ask Jesus to take the punishment that we deserve for hurting God's heart, he forgives us. And one day we will be with him in heaven, praising God, where there won't be any more enemies at all. So, Foxy and Lucy, do you think you understand what justice is now? Go on, Foxy. Justice is when a judge punishes the person who did wrong and stands up for the person who did not do wrong. God will bring justice for Jesus and he saves us from his justice through Jesus. So, Lucy, what are you going to do about the friend who was mean to you? You're going to tell your mum because you know that your mum loves you and loves your friend. And you're going to ask your mum to go with you to your friend's house. And when you go, you're going to apologise to your friend because you know that you made her cross as well. And then you're going to tell your friend that Jesus died to take the punishment you deserve. And you're going to ask your friend if she wants to pray with you and say sorry to God and ask him to forgive you both. Wow, well that's a great thing to do. What will you do if your friend doesn't want to pray to God with you, Lucy? You'll pray by yourself. I think that's brilliant. Shall we pray now? Dear Father God, We are sorry for hurting your heart whenever we don't want Jesus to be our King. Please forgive us and change us from being your enemies into your friends. Help us to trust you and obey you. Amen. Well children, it's time for us to see some of the crafts you've been making on Sunday. This week for our craft at church we were making hearts that were torn to help us understand that we tear God's heart when we don't want Jesus to be our king and that Jesus died to take the punishment that we deserve. 
let's have a look at some of those crafts now. And remember, if you don't get the crafts, you can ask your parents to send me a message and I'll send them to you. Enjoy seeing these from Oscar and Sammy. were fantastic. I hope you enjoyed seeing them as much as I did. Well do you know what time it is? It's time for us to learn our memory verse. This week we are learning Psalm 109 verse 26. It goes like this. Lord my God help me because you are living save me. Those words are going to come up on the screen and then bit by bit a judge's hammer will come and cover the words up. See if you can remember them even when they're covered up. Here they are. Lord my God, help me. Because you are loving, save me. Psalm 109 verse 26. Do you think you can remember the words? Let's cover some of them up. Here we go, let's try and say it all. Lord my God, help me. Because you are loving, save me. Psalm 109 verse 26. And let's try and cover a few more words up. Lord my God, help me. Because you are loving, save me. Psalm 109 verse 26. I'm going to cover all of the words up now. Let's see if we can remember them together. Lord my God, help me. Because you are loving, save me. Psalm 109 verse 26. Well done kids. Could you remember all of the words? It's nearly time for Sparklers and Rockets to end. But before we go... Don't forget about this week's challenge for our week in pictures. See if you can take a photo of enemies becoming friends. Because God will bring justice and he saves us from his justice through Jesus. Click the link below for a new song that we're going to learn on Sunday. It's called Brick by Brick and it's got some actions. See if you can learn them and then you can join in on Sunday. Well, it's time to say goodbye. So it's goodbye from me and goodbye from Foxy and goodbye from Lucy. Bye.